Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gradebook Tutorial Part 3. In this tutorial, we are mainly looking at how final exams columns can be added into our gradebook. But before that, we missed uh, to add the grade part into the continuous assessment part. So we will look into that first. To add the grade into grade of our continuous assessment, we need to go to list view and we need to choose calculated columns. Be careful that to add the grade column, we need to choose calculated column. So the name can be CA total. So the CA grade it can be copied here. Position again, this one also need to be inside the continuous assessment. And the next one, this is the very important part here. The transpose element needs to be selected as grade. For, so to, to add a grade column, we need to choose the transpose element as grade in the calculated column part. Now here in the calculation part, we need to choose formula builder, then the rounding into zero, go to next here. We need to choose the CA total other than and any other weightages, choose CA total. You know that my uh, what uh, continuous assessment total overall total is 50 and it, these grades are actually preset values it is already out of 100 so mine is out of 50 so i need to make it as 100 by multiplying this total into 2 so you should have the calculation based on your what total of continuous assessment so if I press like this, a new column has been added. You can see it here. But you can see that here, it comes with a value. We need to have uh, the, the letters here. So to convert that, you need to press this button and click the right button of that where view values are as grades. So you can see that this is converted into grades. This is how we transpose the values into the preset what grades here. Now let's go back into the addition of final exam columns. This is a, a kind of complex. We need to be very clear about the calculation before adding the columns. So before adding the columns, you must be clear about the paper weightages and how much percentage is taken from that and how the it is added and how 60% of that total weightage is uh, calculated and added into our term test final exam. So let's see. So here, this there is another group created. Let, I'll show you how to create the new group. After that, final exam paper one is added. Then final, final exam paper one 50% is taken. As per my subject, it is computer science. There are two papers, paper one and paper two. The total marks for both the papers are 60 marks. I I have to take, as per Cambridge uh, rule, I have to take 50% from each. Then the total of the above weightages will come out of 60 actually. Right, half and half of these two, it will be out of 60. These six out of 60 weightage needs to be converted into out of 100. That is taken here, you can see. Then after that, I need to what uh, add term two total. This is the term two total. That is sixty percent of final exam and forty percent, which is we, which we calculated before in uh, continuous assessment. So forty percent of continuous assessment and sixty percent of final exam. These two uh, is added up here as tot term two total here. Then term two, one total, which we as, as of now, we are uh, adding it manually. Then these two tot what totals are added up as overall total. Then the grade overall grade is calculated. Then attainment level and effort key. So let's go back and create one by one. So first we need to create a, a group here. You know, you need to create the group by adding like this final exam. save here so the group is here right now now we need to add the assessment columns 
Here we have uh, the final exam paper one and paper two marks ready here. Now let's see how the paper weightages can be taken from this. To take the paper weightage, let's add a calculated column and I'm writing final exam paper one. For me, I have to take the 50% of my paper one. So I'm writing it 50% here. Let's copy the same here, position into final exam, and the calculation will be formula builder. But remember, here we should not round it into zero, we have to round it into one to get uh, the decimal places. So we are choosing a final exam paper one. Then, as this, as I have to take 50% of that, I am keeping 0 0.5 here. And format and verify yes next next and finish. So you can see that so fifty percent of this is down below. If you can bring it into the top by dragging, and now if you look, you can see that fifty percent of paper one is taken here. That is thirty. See here, I have added uh, the other fifty percent of paper two as well. Now we have paper 150% and paper 250%. Now next we have to find the total of these two. So we can add another calculated column. For that the name must be final exam uh, total. That is out of, that will be out of 60 for me because I have taken uh, total 50% uh, of each of the 60 marks so it is out of 60 only final exam out of 60 it needs to be kept under final exam again it is the sum of these two uh, I can show it here this final exam paper one and paper two sum and press so we have final exam out of uh, 60 here so you know that this is out of 60 uh, now the next step is we need to find the final exam 60% of final exam so for that again we can choose a calculated column the naming is final exam 60% out of 60 final exam 60% out of 60 it must be kept under final exam formula builder can be here we have to choose final exam 60 then to take the 60 percent we need to keep 0.6 here press format and verify next and finish so we have uh, the 60 percent of final exam here after this we need to convert the 60 percent into 100 percent this uh, 60 percent into 100 only then we can add that into what 40 percent of fca so for that to convert it into 100 we are adding another calculated column the name to be added as final exam weightage of weightage uh, final exam weightage of 100 percent There, the position can be final exam again. Calculation is formula builder. This can be into one. Here, we need to choose 60%. As I showed before, to convert it into 100, we need to multiply by 100 and you need to divide it by 60 as the total mark is out of 60. You can press next. You can see that. We have got the final exam 60% of 60 here. 